Hey guys, welcome back to WoW Guide. This is the Bay Guide, and we're going to be starting up in the Sinium Sanctum, which is just located in Dragonblight, just under the Wormrest Temple. So, all you have to do is for this boss, just make sure you're just max level character, you can easily solo him. Um, he drops a 22 slot bay, it's 100% guaranteed, and he also drops a mount as well, which is the Twilight Drake in 25 man. But if you're doing 10 man instead, he drops the Black Drake. And as you can see, he dropped the bay right there, but I already have it in my bank, that's why I can't pick it up. Alright, so the next zone we'll be heading to now will be the Forge of Souls, which is located in Ice Crown. And it's on the west side of the citadel. And you just have to go through this little doorway. And it's on the left side of all those three gates. You can do this one on on either normal or heroic. They have the same drop rate in both um, in both difficulties. So right now I'm just going through the zone. And just killing all the mobs. And it's the first boss that drops the two bags but unfortunately when I killed the first boss he didn't drop the bag since they're not both 100% guaranteed so you see up ahead so right now I'm just getting up to the first boss and he drops the two uh, bags of course and unfortunately I didn't go on, on the first attempt but on my second attempt I got the Papa's brand new bag which is a 22 slot bag that one is a 4% drop rate, and the 20 slot bag is a 22% drop rate. So more than likely you will get the 20, 20 slot bag than the 22, but I just got, got a lot of luck right there. So as you can see, coming up, my second attempt doing this on normal, I killed him and he dropped the bag. Alright, so the next raid we'll be doing is the Nixia Lair. You can either get the bag on 10 or 25 man, but uh, in 25 man, she also drops a mount, the Nixian Drake, but it's a really low drop rate. I think it's around 1% drop rate, it's very low. But it's this bag that drops is 100% guaranteed. It's a 22 slot bag, and it's easily soloable on a max level character. So I'm just running through the, the raid really quick. It's only one boss raid, just like the City and Sanctum. And as you see, I'm just con continuing up. Can all the warders. Um, if you wanted this, you should do it on a range tune, just because he will, she will go up in the air when, during one phase and all the whelps will get released. Alright, so you should do it on a range tune, or you can either do it on a max level tune that has a lot of bursts, because she goes in the air, like I said, and if she's in the air, you can't really hit her in time, unless you can burst her fast enough, like what I just did, then it shouldn't be really a problem. Keep in mind, I'm a very high iron level character, so that's why I can burst her really quick. So as you kill all the whelps, she will finally drop down and you can just hit one more time and then there you go and there's the bag right there it's a 22 slot bag it's 100% drop guaranteed alright so the next raid we'll be going to is uh, Manoros Lair which is located in Hellfire Peninsula which is just in Outlands and just, this, just like the other raids the one boss raid he drops the 20 slot bag, that's 100% guaranteed. And it's Mana Rustler, <laughs> like just shown in the caption. It's pretty simple, all you have to do is just go around the raid, and then once you reach the bottom, he's be right there, and you just gotta kill all his like summoner guys. And it's easy, soluble, probably any character around level 90 or higher, just because of the level 70 raid. So I'm just getting up to him right now, and it's pretty easy. 
You just I think it just only took me a few hits to kill him. But yeah, that's it for this guy's this guide, guys. Um, I'll be doing more wild guides, of course. Um, I'll be finishing my part two Tanan video. And thanks for watching.